<laughs> my name's Sam. I'm the cre- uh, co-creator of Race Comics slash the writer. Um, so, uh, I'm Trey, also the co-creator and one of the artists on Race Comics. Nice. So how did y'all two meet? Uh, we're actually middle school best friends. <laughs> nice. Yeah, well, there is. <laughs> <laughs> that makes well, it even easier. Keep it short and sweet. Yeah, we, we met in like seventh grade. Um, and we've been best friends ever since. So that's actually nice. where we started writing this was seventh grade, which was Not that long. Yeah, you know, f- fifteen years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been just gonna- plugging away for about I'd say ten years, writing the story, fleshing out all the characters, getting everything ready. Because originally we wanted to make like a video game. Because I was going to school for uh, video game design, but. Uh, I actually had to leave college because it was just way too expensive and um, they wanted me to be in liberal studies and said, hey, uh, you probably won't get into the career that you want to get into. So I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not staying here. (laughs) I agree. But we wanted Um, to create this uh, story in any medium we could and we kind of fell into comic books. Okay. Are y'all kickstarting it? Uh, We are actually. um, So we're putting it together right now. I don't have an exact date, but we're looking towards early summer and we got a lot of cool stuff that we're going to be doing for that. So as soon as obviously that goes live, then we're going to be introducing that. And we're kickstarting issue five, by the way. Issues one through four are currently out. So anyone watching, you can go read them right now. We will be kickstarting number five, which should be coming fairly soon. You know, follow the Kickstarter to get more details on when that's going to drop. Right. Where can I go read it at? Um, so right now we just entered a new platform called Global Comics. Um, it's comics spelled with an X at the end, um, and uh, it's pretty it's pretty dope. It's a giant indie platform, and you can actually read issue one and two for free on that platform. And all you really have to do is go into the search bar and type in Raze, R A Z E, and you'll be able to find us. I'll check us all out right. on Amazon. You can get them there as well. Yep. You can get what on Amazon? Our, our issues so we got all four up there um and uh if you want to go obviously you might have to do a little bit searching because amazon's algorithm is a little bit weird but uh just type in raise comics and usually the first one will pop up you're going to want to look for our name sam willis and tremaine prim and if you find that then you should be able to find our comics okay i think you're the second person i've talked to that used amazon's distribution center i did not know that they had like a print on demand yeah so it's kind of weird so it took us a while to figure it out because like their sizes for comics are super weird like they do like i think they do like point like seven eight inches for the bleed and like Mm -hmm. finding out like how the sizes work on amazon is literally like a puzzle in itself so um but that was kind of the only platform um we're kind of like we're a little bit more on the indie side so we're doing this with our own money and we don't have obviously as many resources to have an online store and all that so we're trying to put it out in any medium we can you can tell who's done most of it yeah because that all the whole bleed thing i'm (laughs) i'm just the one drawing it and he's over there you know screaming at the computer trying to make the bleed fit it's true (laughs) yeah (laughs) we're doing it for four hours and they'll be like where are you i'm like dude i'm still trying to figure out the stupid sizes for each page (laughs) yeah um are you open to consultations? Like, do you do consultations with your art? Um, I mean, that's that's for you to answer on that. Um, I mean, we're not against consultation. I guess it's really more of, you know, I'll I'll take any advice that we possibly can in terms of artwork. Um, so right. we had artists that we hired prior to doing this. So before the first issue came out, we worked with a few artists. We had a few work on the comic itself. So things happen and we had to end up doing the artwork ourselves. So I've never really drawn anything remotely close to this. So <laughs> I'm kind of in myself. He's teaching himself too now that, that we speak about it. So mm-hmm. I'm open to any tips, anything I can learn, because mostly the only research I have is just watching YouTube videos. You know? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. So. Well, I mean, I think it's so cool, man, that you are teaching yourselves how you go. Absolutely. And and to any creators out there is the best way is kind of learning it yourself and really putting yourself in your work. Because, I mean, 
no offense to artists who do commissions or anything like that, but it is expensive. Like you're producing like us where I have 24 pages, but I've seen graphic novels that are like 150, 200. And if you're paying an artist, a low end, it's 40 bucks a page. You're spending thousands and thousands of dollars on this and project. And then you got a colorist. And, uh, <laughs> letter, editor. All, all that good stuff. <laughs> so are y'all doing it in black and white or are you doing it in full color? Nope. So we're doing it in black and white. So if you read issue one through four, I think issue one has the most color um, just because um, the artist we hired, he kind of, uh, he had that style of adding a lot of gray tones in. So you kind of see that there's a lot of color to issue one. But as we started to go, we wanted more of a really uh, hyper realistic feel to it. And to have that black and white where obviously budget efficient, but also kind of like a callback to all the old horror movies that were in black and white, um, which we actually enjoy. Um, all right. So, yeah. so what's the elevator pitch before we get too far into the interview? What's the book about? All right, so the log line. So it's kind of uh, ironic, but it's pretty much as a virus scourges the earth, our main character, Bucky, is actually born with a special condition. So you will come to find out pretty much how this is going to, uh, how he's going to go with his friends, his survivors, and kind of um, help these people survive. Um, that's kind of the gist of what the story is going to lead into. It's a lot of uh, intros that we've had to do in these first four issues, but that's, that's the main, uh, that's the bread and butter of Ray's. Right. And where you said there's five out, you're working on six. How many issues do you have planned in total for this whole series? <laughs> that's a loaded question. We haven't <laughs> numbered all of them. Uh, okay. So what we've written up to so far We'll be, we just finished 22, 23. So yeah, 22, 23, but we have... We have a rough outline of probably another maybe 60 issues. Right? Yeah. So wow. it's one linear story. You know, we didn't want to just, you know, jump around and, you know, you, you fall in love with these characters. All right, story stops. Here's some more. It's just one big continuity. Um, so we just wanted to make it this long, you know, intricate story. Okay. Are you going to try to put out... One a month, one every couple of months. What's the plan? Yeah, well, that's that's kind of what we're working on this year. So we just started to kind of uh, do all the artwork ourselves and find a method that works for us. So we want to get to a month, month and a half, coming out with issues every year, um, just so people can start to follow this story and you know obviously go to the comic book store, find a new issue of Rays every month. So that's that's the dream. So we're just trying to work up to that because we also do work full time jobs. So. We're doing this in our spare time. When we're done teaching ourselves how to draw, we'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all in comic shops now? Yeah, so um, I actually have to I have to reamp, but right now we're in 20 stores in the uh, East Coast. So nice, we're man. free going to all these places, trying to build relationships with all these comic book uh, store owners. And obviously, um, we've been giving our issues away for free. So if you go to any of these stores and you can go to our Facebook page, just type in Raise Comics um you'll be able to see all the stores that we are in um and we're trying to expand this year i'm trying to get on the west coast as well just a little bit more difficult because it's just through phone calls it's not as personal as walking into their store yeah. obviously um but that's kind of where we're at right now for store wise i don't know maybe you look up their address and just start mailing out comics to all the yeah. stores might just have to honestly yeah i might work yeah um comic cons are y'all going to any so this year's kind of weird because we went to we went to Boston Expo last year and um it it was cool but um the thing is for us is like it it was more of a we were like in the back corner in the artist alley so it was a lot of like if you worked in a mall where you're trying to get people into your obviously into your booth or into your table and you're trying to talk them up and we're going to a few events, like we're going to a few local events this year, but the goal this year ultimately is to get production off the ground, find a method where we can come out with these issues continuously. And obviously if we find an event that we think is going to be cool and we want to go to, we're obviously going to go, but um, it's more of uh, trying to get this story out and then figure out these events where we can plug all that, you know? Okay. All right. What advice, do you have any advice for newcomers that want to get into this? Yeah, try, try, try again. It's it's gonna seem hard. The the first one's always the hardest. 
there's been many times we thought, hey, are we in over our heads? Are we are we not doing things right? You're going to get things wrong. Things are going to come out wrong, but keep going. Learn from those mistakes. I mean, we're we're five issues in. I'm sure we're still making a few mistakes here and there, but we try and learn the best we can and turn around, make it to a positive. So newcomers, the, the biggest thing is just just do it. You know, worry about it after, tweak it after, fix it after, but just do it, you know? And is this going to be your first Kickstarter ever? Yes. Well, technically we did one like 10 years ago, but it was like really bad. And we put out like one picture and it was just like, it, it was a weird experience because we I was like, I was still in high school, I think. So like, I didn't know anything about pretty much anything. So Did it fun 10 years ago? Um, well, the thing is, is like one person donated and it was one of our friends, um, which okay. actually threw an issue one because he did help us. And it was kind of like a call back to him helping us through like very early stages of what our project was and what we were trying to do with it. Um, cause originally it was a graphic novel and like, like, man, we can't afford 150 pages <laughs> for an artist. <laughs> I work at Hollister, uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, are y'all going to collect each 10 issues? You said it was 60 issues in total. Are you going to do like one through 10, 10 through or 11 through yeah. 20? So that's the plan we have kind of um, the way you're going to see this story is we kind of break through in these arcs. So what we want to actually do is try to put these arcs in one book. So when you pick it up, it's like you're getting the nitty and nitty gritty of the arc and kind of just reading from beginning to end. And you're like, oh, that was awesome. I can't wait for the next one. You know, um, obviously it depends on the size of the arc because some are obviously bigger, some are smaller. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Did y'all put yourselves anywhere in the book at all? Um, not not yet. We we okay. Talk about it. Like we brainstorm. We're light years ahead of where we are currently production wise. So we've brainstormed the story much later, and we've talked about it. We haven't actually you know, pull the trigger on that yet, but we're not in there yet, but there are some actual real people. Like he was talking about our buddy from high school. We put him in there as, as a thank you. And we did hold a contest for issue one where someone won and we did put them in the book too. So we might do that in the future as well. So that's something else people can keep a lookout for also. Okay. Where's the best way to get news with what y'all got coming out or what y'all got coming up? Um, I would say, honestly, uh, uh, Facebook is a big one that we're always updating. Um, I would say more on the Twitter side. Um, uh, you can follow me on my personal Twitter is where I'll be posting any updates. Um, and my Twitter name is 2% milk. Um, <laughs> and, and, uh, the percent, it's the actual percent sign. So you have to type it in. It's not spelled out percent. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty much Facebook. We're doing a lot of stuff on TikTok too. So if you try to find us on TikTok, we're on there as well. We're doing a lot of cool videos and whatnot. Um, but mostly Facebook, all the news and updates uh, you'll be seeing on that platform. All right. And what did you say your uh, Facebook was? So just Raise Comics. So facebook.com slash Raise Comics. And you should be right. able to find us. Uh, we have about... 4,000 people. So if you see anybody with like 89 members, that's not us. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, and it's Ray Comics on, Are you? did you say Instagram? Are you on yes, Instagram? Instagram. So we pretty much have all the same tags for all of them or try to. Um, so Instagram Ray's Comics, Twitter Ray's Comics, uh, Facebook Ray's Comics. We do, and we do have a link tree on, on the Twitter. Yeah. So if you go to that one, you get links to the rest of them as well. Yep. And we started a Patreon too, but that's probably going to be discontinued pretty shortly once we get this Kickstarter up and running. But you can also come and see uh, some cool stuff that we post on Patreon as well. Okay. What's the Patreon name? Raise Comics? Yeah, Raise so Comics. But that now they're really weird to find, too. I've tried to type my uh, the account in uh, personally, and, I, and I'm not able to find it. So I would just go to that Twitter, uh, the Twitter accounts, and you'll see the little link tree in the bio. And that will lead you right to all the links provided. Okay. I'll, I'll put them down in the description for everybody. Beautiful. Um, let's see. What area are you in? You're on the Boston area, right? Yeah. So yes, we're sir. we're originally from Worcester. So um, so we're kind of uh we're we're on the East Coast. <laughs> all right. 
Um, do y'all get a lot of Comic Cons going on in Boston? Just the the expo. They have a few smaller ones. It's more of like an inner circle of the big the big comic book people kind of have all those invites because they're the ones putting them together and they're handing out tickets, stuff like that. So normally just the big fan expos we really have notifications on. Um, okay. Sometimes the neighborhood uh, states like we're going to be in, it's in Maine, New Hampshire. No, New Hampshire. New Hampshire. We're, so we're going to Dover, New Hampshire, and that's the event we're going next sun, next Saturday, Yeah. Um, which is going to be a physical event. We'll be having our uh, own booth there and whatnot. Sweet. Do you got yeah. copies of the comic? Oh, yeah. We got issues right. one through three, and we're getting issue four on Friday. So hopefully we'll be putting some issue fours in, uh, mm-hmm. in these stores. Um, okay. Um, let's see. I don't know. Is there anything you want to say that I didn't touch on yet? Um, I mean, all I can say is I'm excited for people to, to read Rays. This is an elaborate, crazy, world-building, zombie apocalypse, drama, action-packed story. Mm-hmm. Um, I know we talked earlier about uh, people who have done things similar. There, uh, I haven't seen it yet that people – the things that we're trying to introduce, I don't think anyone's done before. Um, okay. What kind of zombies do you have? Do you have fast zombies, slow zombies, or – they're they're quick, so they're they're still under the umbrella of zombies. So there we went the infected route. That was, that was a big conversation of you know do we do zombies? Do we do infected? So these are infected. They're still technically living people, but they're quick. They're they're strong. They have one goal. Um, so you really see that they're it's very visceral, very gruesome. Um, so we can't wait for people to see that. Do y'all ever say the word zombie? Uh, we try not to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Just because this, them- this, I always uh-huh. explain it, is uh, we kind of figured it out along this year. Is it's, it's really like you're, the, zo- the lore of it is, you know, obviously zombie, supernatural, but it's a deep character study. Um, which we try to focus on all these characters and you're going to see how they develop and obviously change and all that. But, you know, obviously having that heavy, heavy lore of horror and zombies. We've, we've done some more real world research. Um, I tried, at least with, for me, I try to ground everything that I do in some capacity. So a lot of zombie genres, they just kind of say, hey, there are zombies. That's it. Deal with it. But this story, you'll see like, OK, there's infected, there's this virus. But what's it made of? What are the symptoms? How did it start? So we really do dive into the more grounded scientific side of that, too. So if they're infected, will we ever see a cure somewhere down the road? Maybe we will. Maybe maybe we won't. <laughs> All right. I believe like it. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for taking the yeah. time to come talk with me today. Is there Absolutely. anything you want to say before we go? Um, just follow us. Uh, just come uh, say hello on Twitter. Um, I'm two percent milk. He's my name's not Rick. <laughs> uh, love it our old twitter names but like you said come hang out with us on twitter you know they're doing the twitter spaces all the time so you can you know actually talk you know mostly with him because he's on socials more than i am um all the links are there if you're going to be in the new hampshire area uh next saturday we'll see you there too it's going to be a really fun time we're going to have issues out we're going to have some you know exclusive items we're, we're going to be presenting there as well so from here it's just nothing but up so definitely feel free to come join us all right thank you gentlemen absolutely thank thank you you. what you mean you haven't subscribed to comic chat authority oh come on subscribe already what are you waiting for it's no big deal like man don't forget to tell him to hit that like button yeah yeah that too just subscribe